Hi, my name is Dave Bazanko, and I'm here today to talk to you about moving from burnout to resiliency as a business leader. What's the one thing we all face at some point as business leaders? Burnout. And for me, my burnout arrived as a solo entrepreneur after my perfect storm working with Canada's largest retailers with a stress-induced heart scare or crisis at the young age of 40. That was 13 years ago, and since then, I've learned how to balance both my business life and my personal life, becoming the resilient business leader that I am today. If you're anything like me, I used to hate the idea of diet and exercise, and I had no motivation to get started. So what changed? How was I able to go from that type A workaholic to becoming a three-time Ironman finisher and resilient business leader all at the same time? What differentiates me from other thought leaders is simply that I lead by doing. I walk my talk every day. You see, adults learn by doing, and I'd like to share a mindset to help you move from burnout to resiliency. Now, as a YPO leader, your actions drive company culture. If you don't value health and happiness as part of your resiliency strategy, neither will anybody else, and your organization will suffer because of it. I've customized my presentation by busting common myths about chronic diseases that are sure to be top of mind with any business leader. Things like heart disease and dementia, things that are, are caused by chronic disease, which are fueled more often by lifestyle than genetics. The impact that I'm going to have on your audience is clarity on three things. One, wellness, how to get it working for you, not against you. Two, self-motivation, how do you become self-motivated to do the things you don't want to do? And three, resiliency. How do you survive the stress of failure in your business? If this sounds like something that you might be interested in learning more about and getting strategies, real strategies, that can help you become a practitioner of resiliency every day, I'd love to talk to you and your audience.